This product is called Jihan Horsehair Rolling Electrostatic Brush Manual Pet Hair, etc. Vacuum, <laughs> so to speak, not a vacuum, but anyway, I thought I'd share this with you the other day. I took this video when I was out doing the condos and I forgot to upload this one. This was a really nasty one we walked into and there was just way too much debris for me to use my vacuum. I had my Hoover Hush Tone and I didn't want to suck up stuff that might break it. And with all that debris, I thought, you know, let's try out the manual vacuum or sweeper, I guess we should call it, right? It, it does amazing. What I, I bought this for on Amazon, I can't remember, I think it was maybe 20 bucks, something like that. I'll put a link in the description if you want one, but I bought it because I do a lot of uh, hotel or hotels and buildings, condo buildings, and I clean the carpets every six months. And there's a few of them that hired me to do the vacuuming. So in between, I do it once a month. If I'm out doing turnover units, I carry that with me and I'll kind of walk the hallways and just kind of sweep up debris, mainly by the entrances or the elevator uh, areas. Just get all that picked up. But you can see this is a mess. There's pet hair all over the place. The maid service has not cleaned this one. So I stopped and went back and got my manual sweeper. And I'm going to show you how it works. It's pretty amazing. It's definitely a tool that is worth, I mean, 20 bucks. I think that's what it was. Maybe cheaper. You'll have to click on the Amazon link. I can't remember. But I'll put that in there and the details of it so that you have it. Here it is. And I carry some Safeway or Albertsons paper bags that I had stored up over the last year with me when I go out and do the manual sweeping. That way I can sweep it up and just drop it in the bag. Easy cleanup. See if I can show you the, the bottom of this. It's got a horsehair brush on it. It has two rolling brushes in the front and backside, and it has brushes on the edges, which help catch some of the debris. But you could see there's the horsehair electrostatic rolling brush plus these. And then it's got two catch trays bear with me here i'm working with just one hand i'm gonna push the tray i do have a little bit of debris in there but i'm not going to dump that i'm going to go ahead and do these two rooms and then we'll check out what we got see how easy it is you just push it's easier if you push in the middle I see, you see the button that says push. <laughs> so it's forcing me to push where it says push, but it's got push on both sides. So anyway, two hands is better, but you can see this clips on. This is a hair removal tool for the horsehair brush. You just run it through there. I'll show you that here in just a moment, how it works when we're done. Again, I, I purchased a whole bunch of medical gloves. I should have my gloves on. Come on, Polly. But anyway, the one drawback to this, it's pretty good quality, um, but it is a short handle. You can see there next to the doorknob, not sure what the height of a doorknob is, maybe three and a half feet. So it's not much different. I don't know if you can get an additional uh, piece to screw on there to get a little taller, which would be nice. I'll try and yeah, pan in and pan out so you can get an idea. Very quiet, if you know, if you're a homeowner and you're not in the carpet industry. I mean, these people, these tenants moved out and left it looking nasty. And if they had spent 20 bucks and bought one of these, at least they could have done while they were living there is sweep up all this debris especially when you're moving out you know the maintenance crew management comes in to look at the unit see what needs to be done how they're going to charge you had they taken the time to sweep up all this crap and you'll see it's only going to take me maybe 15 minutes if that and i'm doing it slow as a demonstration 
and I'm doing it one-handed. The amount of pressure does matter. I found, you know, as when I was doing hallways, sometimes it's better just to roll it and let it glide over the top and it picks up the debris a lot easier. Other times you have to just bear down a little bit. You'll see here in the other room, there were some, I don't know, butterfly stickers and some flower stickers and some crap all over the carpet that were stuck. I had to peel one of them off to uh, remove it, but you'll see that. So that's a good thing because I get all the main stuff up. And this thing is designed for pet hair removal, actually, the horse hair electrostatic. So what happens is you're going to see a lot of pet hair get pulled up on this. You've seen me use, I have a uh, corded uh, Bissell lightweight or featherweight, they call it. And I use that sometimes to, to pull hair off of uh, my couch or off of the blanket I put on the end of my bed for my dog. Speaking of my dog, he's here with me today. He's hanging out. I just had a few units, four units to do and I think the day before, uh, or the day before yesterday, I featured one of the rooms just showing the cleaning. But look at that. All the stuff. Now, had the tenant took the time to do this, then you don't look like a freaking pig, you filthy animals. <laughs> no judging, no judging. But, but seriously, I mean, how could you live like that? I mean, there's so many options. I mean, you can even use a broom and sweep up. You know, I've had homes where I went in and military young guys were renting a home. They didn't even own a vacuum, but they used a broom and swept it. That's all they did. I mean, at least they went to that effort. Lightweight, very easy. Picking up some jewelry. <laughs> All right. Watch this. Just lay it up on there, boom. Pops it right into the tray. Lay it on top, boom. Pops it right into the tray. And this thing amazes me. And then the tray captures the debris and the hair, and it doesn't release it. It works in both directions, so you go forward and it's kicking it into the back tray. As you pull it back, the brush is rotating the other direction, kicking the debris into the front tray. So you can do, I can do a lot of space if I'm just walking up and down the hallways, picking up debris or at the entries of the uh, hotel hallways where people walk in and it was grass or pine needles. Watch this, boom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and there are some things that get, you know, you don't know if it's stuck. That one came right up, but very simple. Watch this. These are the stickers. And then that thing, I don't know what that is. I think it's a clumped up sticker. I'll come back to it. We'll kick it. Yeah, see, it's stuck. Kick it free. Watch this. Magic eraser. Boom. Gone. Boom. Just got to peel. Use my foot. There you go. I don't know what these stickers were for. It looks like they might have been on a placed on a headboard the way that the layout here is. You could see more stickers. Definitely more stickers. Yeah, I'll get down there and pick those out or use my foot. stickers boom gone <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoy this video like I said I just had four units to do and then this was the actual fourth one and I had already look at that pick that off I had already gone through and cleaned uh, three units both uh, I believe they were all two two rooms a piece so two, four, six, this one has two, so eight rooms. Doesn't take very long. 
Some people might say, well, I would just vacuum this. What's the big deal? No big deal, but I just wanted to demonstrate to you this thing works great. If you have areas, you know, manual, you don't even have to, you don't have to look for a plug. You don't have to do anything. There's no filters to clean here. It's just, I don't recommend this as your primary vacuum, but I do recommend this as a maintenance tool. <clears throat> when you see how much hair this thing picks up, there's various versions of this. Uh, several years ago, I bought a cheap Bissell one from Walmart, and it was just a rotate rolling brush. It didn't have the horsehair electrostatic brush like this one, and it didn't have the tool attached on there to remove what it picked up, which is a nice feature. They do make some of these horsehair electrostatic sweepers that are more expensive, up to almost $100, and they're a wider head, bigger volume. If you think you need that, that might be an option, but like I said, I'll provide the link for you here if you're interested. You know when you watch the Carpet Cleaning Guys vlog channel, there's always going to be some tidbit of information that's helpful especially I think for your random homeowner if they come across this and you get to actually see it it's almost like a review um, I'm not reviewing this product I used my own money to purchase it on Amazon I probably could have sent some information to these people if I wanted to try it out and say hey how'd you like to do an affiliate program you send me a free sweeper and I'll do a review on it. There's my boy, my mascot. And like I said, the property management knows him. They're cool with him hanging out with me. That's all he does. He knows to, he can walk through with me. You'll see him on some of the walkthroughs, but for the most part, he stays out of the way. I'm not gonna empty this because again, I'm filming with one hand. <clears throat> I'll empty it here um, up on the, I'll move it up on the counter. They haven't cleaned this unit. So don't say, ooh, gross, he put the vacuum on someone's counter. No, this is a turnover unit. The tenant's no longer here. You can see they're painting. They're doing some work. So empty bag. Let's get this thing up. All right. I mean, this thing could be operated from a wheelchair. It's so lightweight. Look at that. It just caught all that hair in the brush. Let's pop the tray open. All that hair caught in the brushes will be cleaned out with that tool, as well as the two brushes on either end. Let's have a look. Whoo! Look at that. Freaking pet hair debris taco pizza. <laughs> you can see that's stuck in there. I'm just going to reach in and grab it. I don't want to damage anything. Boom. Again, this is just for demonstration purposes. I thought maybe my YouTube crowd would enjoy this. If you're a carpet cleaner, or floor cleaner for that matter, you might be interested. Look at all that stuff. It picks up large pieces of debris. You might be interested in picking one of these up. Or actually, if you're a carpet cleaner in the industry, why don't you use the link and drop these people a message? If you're the first one to do it and say, hey, I have a YouTube channel and I'm interested in doing a review. If you send me a free product demo, I'll do a, I don't know, three minute or 10 minute video demonstrating your product and post it on YouTube. That would be a good idea. I know who would get it easily would be Robin at OxyDry or a Green Rhino if, if he's interested in one of these or Robin. Or Tommy, I'm sure you could both get a get a free one, maybe two of them. I mean, ask for three of them. Hell, <laughs> I mean, if if they only cost about twenty bucks to get them, what you know, they must be making them for about eight dollars. 
you can see that tool is just really digging that out. Again, I have one hand, so I'm not gonna really work on spinning this out. And actually, I had forgotten if you pop the trays open, the brushes got more space in there, so it rolls around. You can dig this stuff out really, really easy and quickly. So look at that. Oh my goodness. I think I'm going to put one of my Cyclonic Tornado stickers on this. Oh yeah, add it to the arsenal. We got some tools. Let's have a look at it before I go to the sink and wash my hands off. Look at that. I mean, I am going to come back and I have my vacuum and my swirly out there. I'm going to come back and clean these. It shouldn't take me very long now. Much easier to vacuum in this situation without the debris. Check it out. Remember, there's a link in the description. It's I'm not getting paid for it. I'm just sharing the product. I used my own money to pay for my own uh, sweeper here. I just really am coming to enjoy this thing. Wanted to share it with you guys and gals. Hope this helps somebody out there. If it did, be sure to give me a thumbs up, share the video, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future videos. I'll see you in my next episode.